final verdict on the fate of Gauteng's litigious e-toll system appears finally in sight, as Gauteng Premier David Makura on Friday gathered together representatives of civil society, political parties, labour and the affected metropoles to elicit their feedback on the recent findings and recommendations of the e-toll review panel. When we assumed office, followed by the State of the Province Address on the 27th of June, we made a very clear commitment that as a government that listens, as a government that responds, as a government that cares, we are going to take up all the issues affecting the people of our province. We have been in consultation with national government. We have also been in consultation with them, particularly three metros uh, in our province, which are the municipalities that are mainly affected. And that consultation process will be incomplete without having this stakeholder consultation process, to which we primarily now want to hear the voice of the civil society groups that have appeared before the panel, including the political parties that are represented in the legislature with regard to the specific recommendations made by the panel. Makura cautioned, however, that users of the Gauteng Freeway Improvement Project shouldn't expect a free ride. But one important thing I've said when I released the report, that user pay principle is something that we uphold. The report itself says the user pay principle. Uh, so you, you, can't, uh, you can't change that. We require funding of the whole infrastructure on the basis of user pay principle. But how people pay, you know, and how much they pay is, uh, is the necessary dialogue. And who is more severely affected by what we are introducing, particularly the poor, how are they cushioned uh, from that, uh, including middle class people uh, who themselves have, uh, are carrying a lot of burden already. It's, it's the, it's, that's the business of government. That's, that's my business. The Premier was expected to make an announcement on government's final decision by the end of February 2015. For Creamer Media in Madrand, I'm Natalie Grieve.